that's why I picked this spot. Originally, I was going to set the blind up in the woods, but it's May 13th, and the, the woods is getting so thick in there, I, I thought I probably wouldn't see too much anyways. So, I'm set up down in this valley down here. Usually, the turkeys will come out on either side of me, so I've got the decoy set up out in front of me, and we're hoping to find something.
that was crazy. I uh, just got up to look around and I peeked out this side window here and saw uh, there was one tom turkey coming out of the woods about 50, 60 yards from me. And uh, so I got all the camera equipment ready, got my gun ready. Here there were two toms and about five or six hens following them. And man, they just came straight to the decoy. I mean, they never stopped. Came a little bit around it, but you could tell they wanted to come right to it. And the one that I shot was strutting. Oh man, that was amazing. My first turkey, got it on camera. Man, couldn't ask for anything better. Oh God, that's awesome. Well, we got them back to the house here and got them all measured up. Uh, the beer came in at just over 10 and a half inches. Uh, he is missing one spur, so nothing you can do about that, but the one spur came in at about um, just over an inch, so it's not the best, obviously, but I'll take it for my first turkey. And uh, he weighed in at about 21 pounds, just over that, so. I mean, not a bad turkey all around, I'm pretty, pretty dang happy with it for my very first turkey and the fact that I got it on camera is just something else. I mean, I'm so happy and blessed to have this opportunity. So, uh, as you can see on the film, it wasn't the best. Uh, I tried uh, staying with them as they were coming across the decoy. They came in, I uh, saw them at about 50, 60 yards probably, and they came and they just never stopped looking at that decoy. I mean. That was something else, but uh, I tried staying with staying with them the whole time. Uh, as you can see, I had to lead them every time so I could adjust my gun, adjust the shooting stick, and uh, same time try to adjust the camera and try to bring that footage to you. And um, like I said, this was my first hunt on camera, so I mean, I'm pretty happy that I got the final shot on camera. I thought I didn't when I looked back at it at first, and I was really disappointed, but. The last second I shift the camera there and about five seconds later he goes down so man I, I can't I couldn't be happier with it. Well it's the last night of the last season here in Wisconsin uh, just wrapping things up. We have been hunting me and Brooke have been hunting the past week as much as we can since her season started and I also had this season as well but um, I, I've been trying to get a turkey in front of the blind for her and we have been unsuccessful so far. It's 6.30 right now and I'm thinking the season is done for the year. So thought we'd wrap things up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that, that turkey hunt of mine. That was one of the best experiences I've ever had hunting and I hope to have many more this fall with filming and uh, deer hunting. So we're gonna try and do some uh, food plots here in the next few weeks. Get those in hopefully and uh, we'll bring that to you and show you what we're doing and try, try to lay it out for you. And then we'll be putting up trail cameras um, end of July, maybe the beginning of August. And we'll show you anything, anything decent we get on there, which hopefully we will start bringing in the pictures here pretty soon. So make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, we'll bring you the next episode to YouTube, and we'll post it to our Facebook page and Twitter page as soon as we get the next one out of scouting and uh, food plot management. But for now, thanks for joining us for this episode of Insane Outdoors.